so hi everyone today we will be live demonstrating wipe coding using chat gpt so if you don't know andrej karpati has recently coined a new term wipe coding where he says that he is now not coding anything he doesn't require his coding knowledge he just prompt the llm to code out his stuff he tries to run the stuff if it runs great if it doesn't he copy paste back the error that he gets or the wrong output the llm correct itself and multiple iterations of copy and pasting eventually most of the time he is coming to an output that means that right now instead of having the coding knowledge he is more focusing towards how to build the product right so today we will also try out something similar so let's try out chat gpt for that i would try to create some complex problem and let's see how many iterations would it require for us there are some issues with wipe coding that i will be addressing as well generate python code to explain knn algorithm using manim videos so what i'm trying to do here is to generate a video using a mathematical video creation package called as manim to explain a machine learning algorithm called as knn this is a little complex problem and let's see how wipe coding performs on this how many errors you get how many iterations would it require so let's run this as you can see we have now got the code to run chat gpt canvas has started now and let's see where it goes whether it is able to explain everything or not correctly if not what is the issue and then we'll address that issue as well as you can know on chat right now once the code gets completed you can even try to run the code also i think the code is done now so i'll just copy paste the code here and there is one more code snippet that it has given after this i won't be adding anything i won't be prompting anything let's see how it performs i think one issue that i am observing is that it hasn't installed manim for us so let's see it will throw an error or not no model found manim now what i will do i will just copy paste everything and give it back to chat gpt let's cross this canvas so what is my understanding of wipe coding is that basically it can help you create simpler problems solutions but not complex ones so i'm i am quite doubtful that it would be able to create something for me in this particular case so now it has given me a command to pip install let me run that we won't be prompting it anything now now there is some issue that we have got i will again copy paste it back to chat gpt and ask it a solution as you can see here it has now suggested me something else let's again go back this can be a tedious task if you are good at coding this is my observation but if you don't know anything about a given library i think it's still a better way because you don't need to start everything from scratch i just wish to see whether it is able to create a video or not for us i am also attempting it for the first time with you guys so it's not a projected video that i'm creating it's a live demonstration that i'm trying to do and test out how wide in coding can be good uh whatever is my observation it's not great it's good for basic stuff but not the best for even intermediate complex stuff to be honest let's see whether it is able to pip install man in this time or not i think we are successful this time so i think except the first prompt that we have given we haven't input anything till now and it is able to resolve our first problem that was we were getting for manim so let's see how it goes i think one issue that i'm uh, that i am expecting it to falter is on the logical side of knn i think the installation is done let's try rerunning the code and let's see at what point we get stuck this time i think it ran but it is giving some problems 
I know what problem it is throwing. It is asking us to save this particular code into some file. So let me ask it to chat GPT only. I got this error now. What it says. So as it is mentioned, save the file as knexplorer.py. So now we will do that too. I just wish to see how many iterations it will take to me. So right now we have done three to four copy paste, but I don't know anything about Manim. So I think if that's the case, going and learning everything from scratch, it's better. You try out something like this. We will create a new file as it has mentioned. KNN explainer dot py. So we will copy paste the code here now. And saved as mentioned by chat GPT. We will now again try rerunning the code. I think some execution has started and a video is created. What it has generated? As you can see, classification as A. It's it's not correct, it's incomplete, as I can see classified as a so it is just giving a second seven second video let me prompt it a bit more to update the code for us but i think syntactically it has given us a correct code now so now you can see that it's again updating the code for us to explain the things we can do many more things because see right now the case is that syntactically it is correct but logical wise we need to update hence we need to give it a prompt else i won't have given that too it would have been a very objective answer this is a very subjective answer how good the video is right so in this case that is i picked it up this problem statement because this would be something that the llms won't be trained much on so i wish to test out how many iterations would it take for one guy to try out a new library as you can see, it is a little cumbersome. We are copy pasting a lot of things, but the best part is you are able to get through a very complicated library in very easy manner, right? You don't need to understand anything and you are able to generate a video also. Now this would apply to most of the things. I think again, the video has been created. We'll go to the video section, can an explainer. This should be our new file. One issue that I face with wipe coding is that most of the time the LMS get stuck onto some problem. So if you are getting an <coughs> error X, Y, Z at some point, it would be updating the code in such a way that that problem won't get resolved and the LM would get stuck on that particular portion. So I think there are certain logical issues with uh, wipe coding as well. You can go with the baseline stuff, but I think when it comes to complicated things, I think I don't really agree with Karpathy that why coding can be the way to go. You need to understand, have a basic understanding. I think now this time, this looks better. This looks actually better. Any other thing that we should do? 80% or 90% accurate, but I would still want it to mentioning the end part also. So let me give it a final try and let's see what it updates for us. Let's see what it adds and this would be our last iteration. But I think you see, you just saw now that it is able to get to a decent solution, right? And if it would have been an objective problem, I think you, if you are able to better explain what you wish to have, I think the first prompt that you're inputting can be your game changer in wipe coding because right now, as you saw the code, the, the prompt that I explained, I think was very minimal and hence the video that it has generated is also minimal, but it makes sense now. It is able to classify that, okay, uh, the logic of KNN can be now understood in just 7 seconds. So I would give wipe coding obviously an 8 on 10. And we will be trying out wipe coding with some other tools also. Let's try out with cursor as well in my next video. Cursor and using Claude 3.5 because see, chat GPT default version is not known for its coding abilities, right? So in that case, we really can't judge wipe coding just because of one LLM. So let me finally give a final update. And I think these results are also good, I would say. And trust me, I don't have any knowledge on Manon. I have never worked with Manon. I just know that it is library to create videos, but I'm not sure how it create videos and what's the code that goes in. 
So this is the final attempt. And let's see what it generates for us before we wrap it up. Okay. K equals to three, as you can see at the bottom, if you are able to see. Let this bar go once. Thank you is coming out. It's decent. I would say it's not that bad. Still, what I would say, what I what I believed in while coding was true, that it can give you 80 to 90% of the result, but that 10% would require your intelligence. As you can see, case come, this is pretty good, but last slide that has come, thank you is on the pay face. You again need to go into multiple iterations. I think this can be improved, but a pretty good attempt. And I think wipe coding is a thing. I don't know anything about Manim. I don't know. I the prompt that I gave you already saw that was very baseline and still it was able to come out with a decent enough video, a decent enough solution. So I hope you try out wipe coding with a more stronger LLM with a better IDE and check out results for your use cases as well. Thank you.